We are live. Okay, so 10, 10, 19. Okay, so we don't really need a graphics calculator. Here's what we do. We, we need to know these numbers, the square root of 0, square root of 1, square root of 4, square root of 9, okay? And the reason I'm putting those numbers down is because I'm just going to do a t-tail. I'm going to do a dot to dot to dot graph. I didn't put up 2 because it's an ugly number. I didn't put up the square root of 3 because it's an ugly number. I didn't put up square root of 5 or square root of 6, 7 or 8 because they're ugly numbers. So I just put down the ones that have square roots and just get the general shape, okay? So right off the bat, if, watch my pencil, it's easy. Square root of 0. Right. Boom. If I go over to 1 on the x value, what's the square root of 1? 1. Now I'm going to skip 2 because the square root of 2 is, it's about 1.41. I'm going to skip 3 because square root of 3 is about 1.7. You don't need that. But if I go to 4, what's square root of 4? 2. See, I'm making a t table in my head. Super easy, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Square root of 9 is 3. And then I could go to the next value, which is 16, but it's going to be off my paper, right? There it is. Okay, domain. X is greater than or equal to 0. Correct. Range. Y is greater than or equal to 0. Right, range starts at zero, goes up. Thumbs up, this should be easy. We did this last year, right? Pretty good on this. Okay, now, example two. Well, I can do this faster with my superior brain, right? Then using a calculator, because we're smarter than a calculator. We're just going to take this graph and bring it down for it, correct? So all we're going to do is we're going to just simply shift the parent function. down 4. So we take this graph, my parent function, we're just going to bring it down 4. It's that easy. So we take it down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's my endpoint. And we'll do the same process. From here, if I go over 1, square root of 1 is 1, right? If I go over 1, 2, 3, 4, square root of 4 is 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Square root of 9 is 3. And, of course, 16 is off my graph, but it's there, right? Not too bad. Domain. Domain. X values starts at 0, right, and moves over. So my domain is X is greater than or equal to 0 because it starts at a X value of 0 and goes over. Range starts at a height of negative 4 and goes up, right? Y is greater than or equal to negative 4, okay? Thumbs up. Does this seem pretty easy? We've done a lot of this kind of stuff before, so this should be a, kind of a review. Okay, 3. Do you remember the silly little dance? I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to do the opposite, correct? So I'm going to shift to the left. 3. Now, the reason it's the opposite. This is a great problem to show why it's the opposite. So we're going to go to negative 3 and negative 2, okay? Now, I want, this is a great example to show you why it's the opposite. Please listen. The reason we do the opposite, this is my lowest point on my graph. You got that? Awesome. Right? Got yes. that? That's my lowest. What x value would make it zero out? Negative 3. Do you get that? That's why it's the opposite, because it gets us to its lowest y value. Okay? And then from here, we'll do the same thing. We'll do our 1, 1, our 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 squared is 2. Go back to our end point. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Square root of 9 is 3. And there it is. Domain starts at negative 3, doesn't it? X values. X value starts at negative 3 and goes over. So domain is X is greater than or equal to negative 3. Range has a height. Height of negative 2 and goes up, right? Reach for your range. Y is greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay, thumbs up. This is pretty easy. Okay. Okay, I'm going to turn the page in just a second. I will, I'll wait for you, okay? okay? And you don't need a calculator to do these. We can do these faster with our superior brains, right? Okay, turn the page. All right, cube roots. Well, 
here's how we're going to do cube roots. We want these numbers. Cube root of 0, cube root of 1, cube root of 8. Okay, and we also want cube root of negative 1 and the cube root of negative 8. Okay, we want these numbers, okay? And we're going to do it in our head. There are other numbers that have cube roots, but they're ugly decimal numbers. All we have to do is just get enough points to get the shape, right? So here we are. What's the cube root of 0? What times what times what makes 0? Zero? zero. Yep. <laughs> okay. Cube root of 1. What times what times what makes 1? 1. So if I go over 1, I'm going to go up to y value of 1. Now I'm going to go all the way to 8 next because... All the rest of the cube roots are decimal answers. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the cube root of 8 is 2, right? It's 2. Now, we learned from our reading that you can do negative cube roots, right? So if I go to negative 1, the cube root of negative 1 is negative 1, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. And we wind up with this function here. Okay. Domain? How wide is this graph? Infinite. Yeah. So domain is x equals all real numbers. And the range? It's always going up, but just slowly. And it's always going down, just slowly. But it is always going up, right? So range is the same thing. Y is equal to all real numbers. Okay, does that make sense? I mean, it is going up. It will always go up, but just slowly. Okay. Okay. Last but not least, see how this is. How easy this is today. Last but not least, let's graph this one. So again, it's on the inside. So we're going to move it to the left three, and we're going to move it down five. So when I move it, I'm going to move this middle point and then do my t-table in my head. Does that make sense? So I'm going to move it by moving what they call this, called an inflection point. That's an inflection point. I'm going to move that point left three, one, two, three, and down one, two, three, four, five. So it's all the way down there. And we're going to do the same t-table, one, one, eight, two. Negative one, negative one, negative eight, negative two. Okay, so I'm going to go one, one. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, negative one, negative one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and negative two. Okay, now I'm going to do one, Thanks, Lily. I didn't go over one far enough for you. Okay, now, let's take a look at this. Domain, right? All real numbers. You guys agree? Range, all real numbers. Um, for those of you who love your calculator, can I show you something? Okay. Because some of you really like the table. You can still put this, y equals, clear, clear. You can still go cube root of x plus 3 subtract 5 and some kids really like the table when it comes to graphing it right and the table will work remember how we go to the table and you get all the points that will work for graphing okay is that pretty good does that help okay except for the table gives the decimals which you can use you can graph the decimals if you want to so homework pretty easy today right we have plenty of time to get it done um, and I don't think it's going to be too hard, okay? <clears throat> on some of it, it says graph. So on one, one through six, I cut out three and four to make it less. It says graph, give domain range. On seven, it talks about describe, then graph, okay? Describe. Tell me what's going on, okay? Huh? We have plenty of time. What's that? Oh, Julia, thank you. Thank you, thank you.